नमस्ते सर्वे भवंतो सुखिना सर्वे संतो निरामया मे ऑल बी हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी विद दिस नोट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हेल्दी माइंड एंड हेल्दी लाइफ थ्रू माइंडफुलनेस प्रैक्टिसेस यस इफ द माइंड इज हेल्दी बिलीव मी योर लाइफ इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू बी हेल्दी हाउ डज माइंडफुलनेस प्रैक्टिस help in this approach in this way of leading healthy life let us understand in this video healthy body but plus healthy mind healthy body plus healthy mind only leads to healthy life so we do not have to only worry about our physical health but we have to also think very seriously about our mental health mental well being so let's understand what is mindfulness mindfulness is the basic human ability to be fully present as if you are you know uh, you are you are just paying attention to your present moment to be fully present to your present moment it aims to wake up to the inner workings of our mental emotional and physical processes and activities so mindfulness allows us mindfulness awakens us to all our inner abilities all our inner working capabilities related to mental emotional physical processes it actually includes focusing attention spontaneous thought may come then meta awareness of ongoing thought that after spontaneous thought what is the awareness your mind can have what way or in which way you can control your mind wandering or your spontaneous thought that's the meta awareness reorientation of your attention you are again trying to focus your attention and trying to reduce the spontaneous thought trying to reduce the spontaneous mind wandering this is what is called as mindfulness practice so being mindful is not difficult whenever you bring awareness to what you are directly experiencing to your senses just you know notice what you are experiencing through your sensory organs or to your state of mind through your thoughts and emotions you are being mindful if you are able to pay very focused strong attention to your thoughts your emotions to your senses what your senses are experiencing this is towards going you know to become mindful when you train your brain when you train your brain to be mindful you are actually remodeling the physical structure of the brain believe me the brain has different parts like frontal area parietal area temporal area occipital area different areas have different functionalities and abilities so neurological disorders and you know disabilities are associated in all these parts of the brain that reorientation that remodeling that restructuring of the physical parts of your brain is possible through mindfulness control and practices so if you you know just as an interesting uh, uh, you know definition of mindfulness when you see the abbreviation m stands for moment to moment moment attention you have to just pay attention to the present moment moment to moment moment attention if you can pay in here and now here and there you can pay attention non judgmental attitude don't be judgmental to any particular you know object just be neutral non judgmental attitude detach from unhelpful thoughts the thoughts the spontaneous or whatever kind of thought is trying to enter detach from those unhelpful the thoughts which are actually not helping you in your healthy life in your development forgive and be grateful always be kind always be grateful to the thought to the mind to the person to the object to the activity and forgive everything don't have any other you know ill will or wrong attitude unconditional acceptance accept the present accept the present moment accept the present situation and learn with child like mindset as you know that the children have you know very pure mind no no hatred just forgiveness you know enjoyable mood playful mood so just you know learn like childful mindset childlike mindset and you will be always happy 
So let's start with meditation. It's exploring, not a fixed destination. You have to keep on exploring, you know, paying attention to the object, uh, sensing your senses, experiencing your senses, special moment where each and every moment is momentous. You have to think that each and every moment which you are undergoing is momentous, is enjoyable. When we meditate, we venture into working of our minds that include sensations, emotions and thoughts. Mindfulness meditation asks us to suspend judgment. Don't be judgmental. It stops us to be judgmental and unleash our natural curiosity about the working of mind that approaches our experience with warmth and kindness to ourselves and others. So be kind to your mind. Best practices, what we can do as a best practice in order to meditate, set aside some time and space. Just keep some time and space uh, for you and observe the present moment. That's all. Just observe the present moment. The aim of mindfulness is not quieting the mind, not just calming the mind, or attempting to achieve the state of eternal calm, rather it is to pay attention to the present moment. Slowly calmness, you know, quietness will come in your mind automatically. You have to start these practices. So pay attention to the present moment without judgment. Let your judgments roll by. There may be judgments, you know, rolling and rolling by. When you notice judgments as arise during your practice, we can make a mental note of them and let them pass, just, you know, pass them. Return to observing the present moment. Wherever judgments are passing by, rolling by, just try to return to your present moment. The mind often gets carried away in the thought. Thus, mindfulness is the practice of returning again and again to the present moment. So just, you know, practice to pay attention to the present moment. Come back, come back, return to present moment whenever it gets deviated. So how to do? How to do? How do we do? Find a quiet place. Try to relax your body. You know, focus on your breath. You can keep your eyes open or you can keep your eyes closed. Breathe from belly. Silently label your breaths in and out. Exhale and inhale. Try to experience. Notice your inhale and exhale. Keep your back straight. Close your eyes. Find a quiet space, uh, spot. So throughout the practice, you may find yourself caught up in the thoughts emotions and sounds surrounded by wherever your mind goes simply come back again to the next breath and feel the breath experience notice your breathing sit comfortably notice what your legs are doing try to do what your legs are you know doing if you are sitting on a cushion cross your legs comfortably in front of you if you are sitting on chair rest the bottoms of your feet on the floor so that you can get a comfortable position that doesn't distract you. Straighten your upper body, but don't stiffen. Otherwise, you will have some physical, you know, discomfort to your spinal cord. Notice what your arms are doing. Once you notice what your legs are doing, now try to notice what your arms are doing. Situate your upper arms parallel to your upper uh, body. Rest the palms of your hands on your legs wherever it feels most natural. And... Soften your gaze, you know, just be soft to what you are looking at. Drop your child little and let your gaze, sorry, drop your chin, drop your chin little, you know, and let you gaze all gently, uh, you know, downward. Just see whatever is there downward, gently and softly. This is not necessary to close your eyes. You can simply let what appears before your eyes be there without focusing on it. Feel your breath, experience your breath. Bring your attention to the physical sensation or breathing, whatever is going on. The air moving through your nose or mouth, try to experience. Notice when your mind wanders from your breath. If your mind is wandering from your breathing, just notice that how it is wandering. When you notice your mind is wandering, gently return to your attention of the breath. Just like in the previous slide we have seen, return to your present moment. So when you are experiencing your breath, return to your breath. And this is how you can practice, you know, avoiding the mind wandering. Be kind about your mind, of course. Because your mind, you see here, is in wandering stage. Here and there it is going. So, you may find your mind wandering constantly. That is very normal. It's not, you know, abnormal activity. Instead of wrestling with your thoughts, fighting with your thoughts, practice observing them without reacting. 
Just sit and pay attention. Come back to your breath again and again without judgment or expectation. If you are not able to do that, don't get disheartened. Don't get disappointed. Practice makes men perfect. It will come after some time. When you are ready, gently lift your gaze that now you are in you know meditation state. Gently lift your gaze. If your eyes are closed, then you can open. Take a moment and notice any sounds in the environment. Notice how your body feels right now. And notice your thoughts and emotions. Once you are in that position, you are able to pay attention to your breath. Then you feel right now, you know, notice your thoughts and emotions and try to control your mind, which is wandering. So it's a kind of everyday activity. Every day is a new day. Like every day we don't forget to eat, don't forget to clean our teeth, our, our mouth. In the similar manner, do it again, again, again. Practice every day. As you spend time practicing mindfulness, you will probably find yourself feeling more kind, more calm, more patient. I can promise you. <clears throat> mindfulness can help you become more playful, more enjoyable. And it will also help you to maximize your enjoyment and win down for relaxing a sleep also. For relaxing sleep, for good quality of sleep. Because good quality of sleep also opens the door of happiness and healthy life you know, good here. So thank you so much. Hope this, uh, you know, uh, brief description about mindfulness, how can we practice mindfulness in very simple way can, can help you, you know, when you are, uh, you know, starting, when you are thinking to begin with mindful practices, when you are concerned with your mental health, physical health, and, you know, happiness and health part of your life. Thank you so much. Sarve Bhavanta Sakina, Sarve Santu Niramya. Uh, may all be happy and healthy. Thank you.